Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ictric Studios, and I'm back with another film review, and this time it's actually something I can recommend. I just recently saw, and as you can tell by the title of the video, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse is the new animated Spider-Man movie by Sony Pictures Animation. Yes, the same Sony Pictures Animation that delivered us the cinematic masterpiece that was the Emoji Movie. Honestly, it's amazing to think that only two fully animated films separate these two on the studio's catalog. Anyway, this film follows the titular Spider-Man, but not the one that we're used to, at least not mainly. The character we spend most of the film with is Miles Morales, one of the alternate universe Spider-Men that exist in the world's comics, and honestly, the kind of the whole premise of the movie. Not to get into spoilers, the plot follows Miles Morales as he begins to obtain his spider powers after being bitten by a dimension-hopped spider caused by Kingpin and his machine he is developing. After witnessing the death of his universe's Peter Parker, he is soon confronted by a dimension-hopped Peter Parker, and then a bunch of other alternate universe Spider-Men, women, and a pig. And then they have to team up in an attempt to thwart Kingpin and his rogues gallery. And let me tell you, it's just a genius move to have Kingpin as the main antagonist, because it just kind of gives you an excuse to utilize as many villains as you want. Alright, uh, anyway... Uh, the film is really, really, really good. Uh, perhaps the best Marvel movie of last year. And if it is still playing near you, please, I implore you to go see it. And if it's not anymore, uh, just make sure you go watch it uh, when it hits streaming or uh, home video. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, bye.